Is this true? On August 17, 2023, the European Union officially implemented the EU Battery and Waste Battery Regulations, here and after referred to as the New Battery Law, which had been announced for 20 full days. The core requirement is, whoever produces must recycle, and whoever imports must recycle. The new battery law applies to all categories of batteries, which are classified into five categories based on the intended use of the batteries, portable batteries, light means of transport batteries, starting, lighting, and ignition batteries, industrial batteries, and electric vehicle batteries. In addition, Battery units slash modules that are not assembled but are actually put into use in the market are also included in the scope of this legislation. The new battery law imposes mandatory requirements on all types of batteries placed on the EU market, except batteries used for military, aerospace, and nuclear purposes. These requirements cover sustainability and safety, labeling, information, due diligence, battery passport, management of waste batteries, and more. At the same time, the new battery law specifies the responsibilities and obligations of manufacturers, importers, and distributors of batteries and products containing batteries, and establishes compliance assessment procedures and market surveillance requirements. The main content of the new battery law includes 1. Extension of producer responsibility the new battery law requires battery manufacturers to assume responsibility for the entire life cycle of batteries, including recycling and disposal of discarded batteries. Producers are required to bear the costs of collecting, processing, and recycling waste batteries, and provide relevant information to users and treatment operators. Point 2. Introduction of Digital Battery Passport the new battery law introduces requirements for battery labeling and information disclosure, as well as the introduction of battery digital passports and QR codes. The disclosed information includes product capacity, performance, purpose, chemical composition, recyclable content, etc. Starting from July 1, 2024, Manufacturers must provide information such as battery manufacturer information, battery model, raw materials, including renewable parts, total carbon footprint, carbon footprint at different stages of the battery's life cycle, third-party certification reports, and a link to display the carbon footprint. From 2026 onwards, all newly purchased electric vehicle batteries, light means of transport batteries, and large industrial batteries, with individual batteries exceeding 2 kilowatt hours, must have a battery passport to enter the EU market. Point 3. It is worth noting that the new battery law also mentions that, starting from 2027, all portable batteries should adopt a removable battery design, allowing consumers to open devices, remove, or replace batteries without the need for special tools, such as solvents, heating, or training. All light means of transport LMT, batteries should also be easily removable and replaceable by professionals, according to data released by the South Korean market research firm SNE Research. China's share in the global power battery market has exceeded 60%. In the first half of 2023, the global newly registered power battery installed capacity was 304.3 GWh, a year-on-year -year increase of 50.1%. Among them, Chinese companies still occupy the top six positions, including CATL, BYD, Contemporary Amperex Technology, CATL, EVE Energy, Guoxian High Tech, and Xinwanda with a total market share of 62.6% according to the latest data released by the China Automotive Power Battery Industry Innovation Alliance, China's power battery exports continue to grow. From January to July, the cumulative export of power batteries by Chinese companies reached 67.1 GWh, and the cumulative export of energy storage batteries reached 7.3 GWh, Looking specifically at the European market, 
SNE research data shows that China's share of power battery installations in Europe has continuously increased over the past four years, reaching 11.8%, 16.8%, 22.6%, and 34% from 2019 to 2022, respectively. T can be seen that the European market has become one of the main target. Markets for China's battery exports the implementation of the new battery regulations will have a profound impact not only on China's power battery industry, but also on the global power battery industry chain. In the short term, products sold to the EU will face stricter requirements in terms of carbon footprint, battery passports, battery recycling, etc., inevitably leading to increased costs. At the same time, for small and medium-sized enterprises, the competition threshold will further increase, and setting high barriers before the EU's battery industry develops may not be conducive to market cultivation and technological innovation. In the long run, it will spur a new round of industry reshuffling. Accelerate the evolution of the market competition landscape and drive global battery companies toward decarbonization. The new battery law may have three main impacts on China's industry chain. 1. Relevant requirements for carbon emissions may force exporting companies to undergo zero carbon transformations, leading to innovations in production technologies towards high efficiency, low energy consumption, environmental protection, and low carbon. Point 2. It is expected to compel the improvement of the domestic recycling system driving the green transformation of the domestic industry chain in the long term and promoting the sustainable development of the industry. Stringent recycling requirements may benefit enterprises that cooperate with overseas manufacturers for recycling. Point three. The battery passport aims to ensure the transparency of the supply chain. Exporting companies will face challenges such as building passport databases, maintaining passport management systems, and constructing international uniform standards nowadays. The competition in the overseas battery market is becoming increasingly fierce. Chinese lithium battery manufacturers are expanding their overseas businesses, but at the same time, overseas-related industry policies are gradually becoming clear, including the United States Inflation Reduction Act IRA and the upcoming implementation of the new battery law in the EU. Industry insiders have previously stated that this also means that the overseas market is transitioning from single-dimensional product competition to multi-dimensional system competition. It is worth mentioning that the global industry chain is actively promoting battery passports. A consortium of over 120 companies plans to jointly launch a blockchain-based battery passport. Consortium members include BMW, Stellantis, Honda, Ford, Nissan, Mazda, General Motors, and others. Zhang Yuchuan, chairman of China's CATL, had previously suggested conducting research on power battery passports and supporting policies to strengthen the full life cycle management of battery products. He stated that the battery passport is the digital twin of physical batteries, enabling transparent digital management of the entire supply chain of power batteries. Consumers and regulatory authorities can easily access relevant information about battery products through the battery passport. At the same time, the battery passport as a powerful tool for government regulation and social supervision can become an important policy instrument to promote the low carbon, circular, and sustainable development of the battery industry. industry.